Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, two smaller circles uh, are fully confined in this uh, big uh, circle. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, these two smaller circles are tangent to each other. And moreover, this uh, point O is the center of this uh, larger circle. And the length of this uh, chord AB is uh, 20 units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And this is yet another minimal information problem. We have been given only this uh, chord length uh, 20 units. Now let me go over these uh, basic things. We know that this point E is the point of uh, tangency and these points are the centers of all these three circles and just keep in your mind that the center and the point of tangency are collinear in other words all these points are going to lie on the very same line and now let's recall this uh, perpendicular bisector theorem. If a radius of a circle is perpendicular to a chord, then the radius bisects the chord. As you can see in this uh, diagram, we got uh, this angle uh, 90 degrees between this chord and this uh, diameter. And we know that this whole chord AB length is uh, 20 units. So therefore, according to this theorem, uh, this uh, line segment uh, AE is going to be equal to EB. If the whole length is 20 units, then this length AE has got to be 10 and this EB has got to be 10 units as well. And now since we are interested in finding the area of this blue shaded region and we are dealing with these circles, and now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square, where r is the radius of the circle. And now we know that the diameter is always equal to 2 times the radius. If we divide both sides by 2, then our radius is going to be equal to diameter d divided by 2. So therefore, I am going to replace this uh, radius r by d divided by 2. So therefore, I can write this thing pi times d divided by 2 whole square. And now if we simplify this thing that is going to give us uh, pi divided by 2 square is going to give us a 4 in the denominator times uh, d square. So therefore the area of a circle formula could be written as uh, pi divided by 4 times uh, d square. And we are going to use this uh, formula in this uh, given problem. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow circle. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow circle. And now let's recall once again the circle area formula. Area equals to pi divided by 4 times uh, d square where d is uh, the diameter. And in our case, uh, the diameter for this uh, yellow circle is uh, Ce. So therefore, the area of this uh, yellow circle is going to be pi divided by 4 times uh, C E whole square. And likewise, let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green circle whose uh, diameter is uh, E D. So we are going to use this formula once again. So this could be written as uh, pi divided by 4 times E D whole square. And finally, let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, big uh, blue circle whose uh, diameter is uh, CD. Therefore, by using this formula once again, this could be written as pi divided by 4 times CD whole square. And now let's go ahead and make an observation. Uh, the area of this uh, blue shaded region is going to be equal to the area of this uh, big blue circle minus the area of this uh, yellow circle and uh, minus uh, this uh, green circle area as well. As you can see in this uh, equation and we have already figured out the area of this uh, big blue circle which is pi divided by 4 times uh, cd square. 
Likewise, the area of this uh, yellow circle is uh, this one. And finally, the area of this uh, green circle is over here. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. So this is going to be pi divided by 4 times C D whole square minus the area of this uh, yellow circle is going to be pi divided by 4 times C E whole square minus the area of the green circle is pi divided by 4 times E D whole square. Now we can see pi divided by 4 is in common across the board. So therefore I can factor out pi divided by 4 outside and inside this bracket is going to be C D whole square minus C E whole square minus E D whole square. And now let's make an observation this whole diameter CD is equal to the sum of these individual diameters CE and this uh, diameter ED as you can see in this uh, equation. So therefore I'm going to replace this uh, CD part uh, by CE plus uh, ED. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, CD by this uh, CE plus ED. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity A plus B whole square could be written as uh, A square plus 2AB plus B square. We are going to apply it on this uh, binomial. And if I assume that this is our A and uh, this is uh, our B. So therefore we can write this whole thing pi over 4 is still outside. Inside this bracket uh, this binomial could be written as uh, C E whole square plus uh, 2 times C E times E D and then uh, plus uh, E D whole square. Then I am going to copy down these two terms as well. That is going to be minus uh, C E whole square minus uh, E D whole square. Now we can see that this uh, C E whole square and this minus C E whole square they are gone. This E D square and this minus uh, E D square they are gone as well. So therefore we are just ended up with the uh, pi divided by 4 times this uh, whole part which is 2 times uh, C E times uh, E D and now we can see this 2 and this 4 reduces to 2 at the denominator. So therefore we are going to have a pi divided by 2 times uh, this is C E times uh, E D. So thus we can see that our this uh, blue shaded region area turns out to be pi divided by 2 times C E times ED. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number one. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, this uh, point A with these uh, vertices uh, C and uh, D. As you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram I have connected these uh, points A, C and uh, AD. And now let's recall this uh, Thales theorem. According to this theorem if we have these three distinct point A, C and D on the circle as you can see in this uh, diagram and uh, C, D line is the diameter then our this uh, angle uh, C, A, D is going to be 90 degrees. So therefore we conclude that this uh, C, A, D is our right uh, triangle. And here's our next step. Let's assume that alpha and uh, beta are our complementary angles. In other words alpha plus uh, beta equals to 90 degrees. Now let's assume that this angle is uh, alpha. This is our 90 degree angle. So this has got to be our angle beta. And now in this triangle we know that this is our 90 degree angle 
this is our beta so this angle has got to be angle alpha and likewise for this uh, other triangle uh, this angle is 90 degrees this angle is uh, alpha so therefore this angle has got to be beta so therefore we conclude that these two triangles the cea and this other triangle aed are similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have a proportions let me go ahead and write down this uh, ratio c e divided by a e equals to a e divided by e d now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply and we can write this thing as uh, c times uh, e times uh, e times uh, d equal to on this side a e times a e is going to give us uh, a e whole square and now let's focus on our equation one blue shaded region area equals to pi divided by two times c e times e d and here in this step we figured out c e times e d equals to a e whole square so therefore i am going to replace this whole thing by a e whole square and now we know that our uh, a e distance is uh, 10 uh, units so therefore i'm going to replace this one by 10 over here so therefore this could be written as pi divided by 2 times 10 whole square and now we can see 10 square equals to 100 as you can see in this uh, next step so the right hand side reduces to 50 times uh, pi so thus the blue shaded region area turns out to be 50 pi square units. So thus the area of this uh, blue shaded region turns out to be 50 pi square units. And that is approximately equal to 157.1 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.